Hey folks, George Leoniak. I'm back with another video here at New Geometry. And today we're going to continue looking at the uh, nonagon and the nine pointed star. And after presenting the previous method, what I called the icosahedral method, this, previous, this week I came up with a whole nother new method to create a nonagon that's based on the flower of life that even has a greater level of accuracy. And this method's going to involve the uh, trisection of an angle, an ancient Greek mathematical problem. So we're going to dive in. I've got the slideshow all set up. And uh, let's jo join me for this uh, adventure. So here's the, uh, the previous uh, drawing that I did in the phi circle seat of life and the icosahedron method. So in many of my videos, I use these phi seat of life where I put a smaller uh, uh, golden ratio circle in relationship to a larger one here. And that created, uh, you know, that icosahedron, the, the decahedron correctly uh, that I've been working on. And now if you extended those lines out along the edge of the outer circle around the seat of life, it just happened to create an excellent uh, nonagon with internal angle of 140.04 and the other angle over here, 139.931. And I thought that was pretty great by the end of the week and you know, I checked out the angles in GeoGerba. I figured it was about 99.9% .9 accurate here. And you know, this week I was just kind of looking at something else in relationship to the golden hexagon, which I'm gonna talk about in just a little bit, but a whole new method emerged in the flower of life that still includes those phi circles. So this is just a really uh, elegant drawing here that's created. And you know, I'll talk about the method of how, where the trisecting angle is, but it's right about over here. And it was the main piece that allowed me to create this edge of the nonagon to create those 140 degree angles. Now, when I was uh, in the program in the iPad, when I was doing this drawing, you know, it's uh, it, it, what it, the numbers it values that it gave me just kind of had me drop my draw because first of all, I'm dealing with two unsolvable uh, riddles here for the geometer. One is to create a nonagon with 140 degree in, uh, you know, internal angles here. And the other one is to trisect the angle. And you know, after spending quite a bit of time trying to figure out how to trisect this angle, I finally found the key spot where I could draw the line. And at least in this iPad app, it was giving me angle of uh, 10 degrees right here. This is uh, between GM and uh, GHM, which is right here, GHM, 10 degree, which means this other angle on the other side of the 30 degree angle, the GHJ was 20 degrees. And I was just like, what? 10 degrees trisecting the angle? That's supposed to be impossible. Um, we got 140 degree angle up at the top. And this is a, you know, I knew there might be an issue with the program because it only gives me one digit after the decimal point. So I didn't know the, the specific level of accuracy, but just to see everything line up with this was just amazing to me. And of course I was able to draw this all hand drawn. And I love making all the, uh, the, you know, the drawings that I'm doing on a technical iPad, which is hundred percent precise. Um, is uh, you know transposing them so that anybody could draw these with your compass and straight edge. Uh, I mean the compass and straight edge at home. And here are the blue phi circles within the larger circles. And this is the section I'm about to talk about is how to trisect an angle that's going to be in the 10 degree increment right here. So this is the ancient you know classic problem in the Greek mathematics, and it was kind of mind boggling me to think that after all these years of history, we haven't been able to figure out how to create a 10 degree angle and trisect some of these angles. But there's actually a theory, a theorem that has a, a, a you know that's been stated by uh, Pierre Wenzel back in 1837. It says it's impossible to solve, and this has been proven with mathematical equations. You check it out on the Wikipedia page, um, but. You know, we can create a, you know, a 10 degree angle by using noises and other geometry techniques, but those include a straight edge that is marked. Now we're using an unmarked straight edge and the compass here to create this drawing. So here it is between B, C and A, uh, there's the 10 degree angle off of the 30 degree angle, meaning that C to D is a 20 degree angle. 
uh, CDA is 20 degrees. And the whole method is in this one right here. I even include how I obtain the phi base circle. But let's just zoom in a little bit because I want you to get the details of how to trisect this because I went online and I checked out as many uh, YouTube videos as I could to how to trisect an angle. And none of them are really that good at all. And um, apologies to the great geometers who are out there even tackling this, but they're showing a method most of the time that's like 10.4 or uh, de degrees or 9.6. And they put a, uh, you know, they put a protractor up to it and they say 10 degrees. Um, but, you know, when you're using a precise instrument, you know, like the iPad, which can get even more precise, um, because this program I'm using only goes to the first digit of the decimal, past the decimal point. Um, but here we go. You know, this method has got the phi circle inside another circle. So these are in phi relationship, one inch to 0.61 inch di diameter, let's say. And then what we want to do is create the three, the kind of trifoil uh, pattern of three circles creating three vesicas. And we're going to use one of the vesica lines to go through um, this vesica right here. And then what we want to do is use these phi circle. We're going to take that phi circle and we're going to plant it right here at the intersection of the vesica that we, line that we just did, the root three vesica. And then we're going to put it right here at this intersection of the outer circumference of the circle. And we'll draw our other phi circle right around it here. Now that phi circle is giving you this important point right here, which we need to draw this line up to it meets the other phi circle and the larger circle right here. And that point, we draw a line from C to A, that line segment, and then BCA is the 10 degree angle. So, or, or close to 10 degree angle, as you'll, you'll, you'll come to uh, discover here in just a moment. But here it is all hand drawn. Um, quite simple method to do. You can do this one easily at home. Just a little tricky to find where those points are. But if you freeze this image here, you can, you can figure out this drawing and get probably the most accurate 10 degree angle that you can get using just an unmarked straight edge and a compass. But like I said, it's not 100% accurate. Uh, you know, that mathematical formula still stands, but this was the closest that uh, I could get with these tools uh, that I was, you know, with what I was working with here and really spending hours, a few hours, you know, hunting around all these lines of the sea of uh, pickup sticks, basically trying to find where that intersect that line circumference. And it's 99.915% accurate. So this angle happens to be 10.00849. And so it's essentially 10.01, which is just really accurate to me. That's, I'm pretty excited about that to even get that close. So it's 10.0. Uh, one or 10.008. And, you know, that's why the iPad, because it was only, you know, giving me one digit of accuracy. So I'm glad I double checked this to see, because once this rounds up, it will still show just 10 degrees on that program and treat it as a 10 degree angle. But this will have a little bit of implications for our nonagon, because remember previously I was showing there was 140 degree angle. Um, for all the angles of the nonagon, but now we have that slight little uh, difference in the 10 degrees there. So all of a sudden, what's going to happen is that, you know, our 140 degree angle is going to be 140.01 and 139.99. Now the iPad app that I've been using in that program, that will just round that all up to 140 and this one will stay at 140.0 as well. Um, so anyway, super accurate on that other program, but GeoGerba kind of points out the little bit of difference here, but I'm quite thrilled with it. Um, it's got 40 degree inter, the inner angle here and the 39.9 here. So let's just uh, put this into a larger context and talk a little bit about uh, Nikola Tesla's work here. And you know, the three and the six and nine, even if you might not have said that quote, it's still a fascinating mathematical concept. Um, and the W that is often related to the binary sequence, and I'll explain that here in the picture with Nicola here, that shows the one and the two. Uh, in the nonagon, we can go one, two, and then skip over to four. So the binary sequence is a repeating pattern. Two plus two is four. Four plus four is eight. So we hop up over to here. We cross through the zero point, this kind of point of manifestation, which happens to be at the center of the flower of life. And that's 
really what I uh, love about this design is how it integrates into this pattern with the Phi base seed of life, the dotted blue circles. And they're crossing right at this central point uh, at the heart of the, of the center of that flower of life structure it goes up to eight. And then now this is where we got to do some digital compression in the numbers because eight and eight is 16, but the six plus the one equals seven. And then that drops us down to 16 plus 16 would be 32. And then that then three and the two would be the five and 32 and 32, 64. That will zip us back up over to the one. And we can continue this binary sequence around and around, and that will continue on infinitely as the three and the six and the nine, the nine being kind of like this super spiritualized number, which is kind of zero and nine all at the same time. Look at some of my, I, my I Ching video, the very first video I ever done, really goes deep into this mathematics of three, six, and a nine. Jane 108, another person who's gone deep into this, check out his material. He's the one who really introduced me to this. And Marco Rodin's material also works with the three, six, and the nine and this binary sequence repeating pattern. So the three and the six here are kind of like the yin yang numbers, and they're kind of like a positive and negative chargers, or maybe both flipping the positive both flipping the negative. Um, there's a lot of ways to view that, but basically this diagram that we've uh, that I'm showing you integrates flower of life, the phi circles within the seed of life. It's got the golden hexagon, the nonagon, and that Tesla W, which is now integrated with this phi hexagon here which uh, the golden hexagon, as I call it, I've got a whole video on that. It's got the one with the snowflake on it, talking about three other forms, which we're gonna revisit in a future video. But this golden hexagon really integrates beautifully in into this nonagon structure because this nonagon has an equilateral triangle that's based off of this edge that goes right to the center of the flower of life pattern here. And then that is got a one inch edge, but then over here, we say we've got the phi circle, which has the 0.618, and that creates these two uh, equilateral triangles, one on top of the other, which if we extend those lines continuing out, will hit the edge of the nonagon. So the way you're gonna create the rest of that nonagon if you're doing the drawing is once you've determined the 10 degree angle and got that edge, well, then you've gotta find where it hits this uh, W shape here. And then that's also part of the W shape and the center point as well. So the whole nonagon is contained within that. All we had to do was figure out how to trisect the angle right here. And then we get that repeating pattern with the phi, phi golden hexagon in the middle here. So one other little thing that I did was now that I wanted to test out that measurement, that 10.008, and I worked my way around in the iPad with 36 circles all the way around till I met back at the center, at the, the starting point. And you won't be able to tell in this drawing, but there's a little gap here that is in those circles. But this is giving me 36 circles with 72 divisions all the way around here. Now, that's pretty impressive because like when you do like a you know, nine pointed star or seven pointed star with some construction techniques and you kind of work your way around, sometimes you'll come up, you've got this big gap going on here. Well, this is 36 circles that have gone around to provide those 72 uh, divisions. So that's just a pretty kind of sweet, uh, short and sweet video on the exploration of the nonagon. I kind of condensed that all into one. It took on these amazing issue, uh, you know, problems with geometry, the trisecting of the angle, and uh, the nonagon, both proven to be in, you know, impossible to do. But this is what appears to be probably the most accurate uh, version of the nonagon, including the trisecting the angle, and it all integrates beautifully into the flower of life design with the golden hexagon, as I've been mentioning. So that's that version. And you know, this is the hand-drawn method of the trisecting the angle. Like I said, another quite easy drawing to do. Probably the first time this drawing may have ever been done um, with that very close uh, 10.008 degree angle. And by basically, basically by hand-drawn, it's gonna look like 10 degrees to you. In fact, your mistake of just being a little off might actually make it 10 degrees. So um, thank you for checking out this video. If you really enjoyed it, I've got a lot of other great content already on my channel and I'm always producing new videos almost weekly. So please subscribe to this. And also I've just developed a Patreon site. You might want to check out, check out new geometry on Patreon. I'm going to be 
putting a lot of new content and exclusive content there that really walks people through some steps, step-by-step -step material to start drawing a lot of the things that I've been working with. So I'm really excited to start developing community there. And that will even include a live monthly session um, I've labeled all the tiers, one through the fifth dimension, and then the fifth dimension includes that live Q&A session once a month, once a month. So, uh, yeah, thanks for being here, and uh, I'm looking forward to connecting with you next time. Much love and appreciation. Until next time, see you then.